come to here. Boom, 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 boom. Like this, come in. And keep your hand like this. Inside, when you come into me, the same thing. Okay? So you keep away from him like this, and then you again, you're choosing different kind of weapon. Because Feel the hand like this. Like this. So here, like this. Okay? Like this. And then you follow, follow like this, the hand. So, like this, coming in. So the hand coming fast, boom, boom, like this, boom, boom, like this, coming to drop. So the, on this part here, I will go full you onto the basic movement again. How to take someone out quick and fast. Few basic rules. Learn to understanding is surprise, speed, and violence of action. The most important thing of this one here, you're going to choose the weapon of choice. It's going to be the palm coming in and the drop coming in. This is two basic movements continue to flow to when they're not going to able to respond anymore okay this is important so when you're working with this movement here chose the right weapon and make use of them let me show you here so you know exactly how to do them level gymnastics basic principle set up a cast classic movement here good positioning why because if you come toward me i can drop a knee right away and then i can follow all this my movement okay this is important now of course we are attacking first this is a surprising him we are attacking first you're not waiting for him to attacking us okay so when you do the same when we're attacking the same hand like this straight coming here soon in the position and he start to talk into here and boom straight here and then follow to the front and then follow to the front like this so to keep him away like this okay off balance and keep him away principle the same on this side when you start uh, the talking okay so on this kind of movement the same you straight away coming in the jaw like this okay and then follow to the throat follow to the throat like this so the hand have to be straight from here and then follow that they're attacking 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 and keep coming up with that to make sure you've done all your attacking onto the throat to make sure he's not going to be stand up anymore the most important thing to understanding is not many people can take one palm to the neck like a break and then soon that and then that's going to be chopped through the throat here it's very sensitive one coming in you're going to have problem this is dangerous someone will get killed this is the problem if you're going to think you're going to use this kind of movement and you've got a confident of make sure you can use them and you use them the consequence can be bad so this is important to understanding your way you set up the way you do things you chose the right weapon and make sure you use them properly okay let me show you again so the basic learning of understand hand on this kind of movement okay hand straight away shouldn't go problem boom. okay straight away boom, 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 boom. like that coming in so the hand on the line is have to be follow as this hand coming in boom, like this straight away boom, 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 boom. like this to the throat same thing that i gonna do in this side with him when i start on this side with the movement got problem i follow straight like this Straight boom, like that coming in. Boom, 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 like that. So you're going to be very quickly underneath the throat coming in. So you've got to be underneath the throat. And this hand, like the palm, it's like you, you upset the jaw and the throat coming in. Upset the jaw, throat coming in. Upset the jaw, throat coming in, okay? So this design to quickly fin finish up your opponent fast. You don't give them time to respond. You don't give them any kind of, uh, of understanding, okay? This is why you need to respond that way quick. So when you start them up, you got to get used to the line of the movement and quickly, see your hand quickly like this, coming in. So your hand talking to him, moving around, come to here, boom, 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 like this, coming in. And keep your hand like this. Inside, when he come into me, same thing, okay? So you keep away from him like this, and then you again, you're choosing different kind of weapon because the palm and the job cannot use when it's down here okay it's a wrong line it's in the line that you knew on this kind of movement onto the bg kind of movement there so it's important to understanding it's, it's got to be happening up here okay then coming in like this coming in here to be able to deal with them so when you're in set up in this classic move it's have to be cross the face bam 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 like that and then finish it up by whole body coming like this okay Put a glove on, let me show you. A lot of time, you don't punch a lot of this kind of movement in, it's because it's easy to broken your fist when you hit and wrong. And secondly, is when you start hurting somebody, okay? And then your fist is broken, and then you got caught. It's a problem, because 
you are fighting. Your palm, your job is a big kind of movement here and you can take a lot more pressure. It's difficult to cut your hand that easily. So in training and in understanding about doing things like this, it's got to understanding what happened next. Okay, not what happening now, what happening next when you start to use them this kind of violent of action. So when you did in this kind of movement here, your hand have to be like coming up here. Soon they come in. <laughs> like this coming in. Same thing that this size. Soon you come in and see the hand. Like this is the same thing that the, the face. Okay? So the same thing that's the hand like this. Okay? Same thing like this. Same thing like here. You do exactly the same. Everything you learn and try to do have to be represent exactly the same way you're gonna do with them in real life. So that way you don't need to think anymore. Because the setup is the same when you got a problem with a line like this on the side, onto here, soon you feel the hand like this, like this. So here, like this, okay, like this. And then you follow, follow like this, the hand. So, like this coming in. So the hand coming in fast, boom, boom, like this, boom, boom, like this, coming to drop. So the line of it is the same. The first movement is going to be to able to hurt, yeah, the line of that. So get movement ready. Principle, same thing on this side. When it start to get used to, like this coming in. So the power from the way is coming in, and then drop like that. So when you're working, or get used to get your body to understand that, because that's what you're gonna use upper. And when it start talking, okay. So when you're working, get used to the line, hand, drop, hand, drop, hand, drop. Hand, chop. Same thing with this principle with this line here. Hand, chop. Hand, chop. Hand, chop. Like this. To come in. Every time you finish, bring your hand back into that position. Because you're ready to defend again quickly. Okay? So if I go like this, I go like when you hook coming in, I'm ready to defend again. Okay? So this is need to bear in mind. To think of it. So the basic principle need to learn to understand is need to have to get your hand, your body, your movement in the right places, good positioning. Then you're using three basic rules that we're talking about. Okay. Surprise, bam, you come in, you surprise them, smack in the jaw with the speed and then violent of action, you come in to finish it off quickly. You don't give them time to messing around because if you do, you're gonna have a problem. If you like this kind of thing that I'm showing you here on the movement and technique and stuff like that, and if you want to ask me anything, comment underneath here. I will be right there to answer all your questions and helping you to learn everything you need. If you like this kind of thing, you can subscribe to me here or take in a course before your enemy take in a course and then go home and practice and spend some time to make it good and then it can beat you up and then you will have a big problem. So, spend some time to practice. I will see you on your next lesson.